real excited about this new artist, too, Phil Thompson, who he snagged on his brand new label, Jamestown Records. Welcome, Phil. Thank you so much for dropping by today. Thanks so much for having me. It's so a it's, pleasure. You know, it was ironic that we were playing JJ right before this, but right. it just ties all in. Right. So anyway, excited about Philip. Now, of course, I just mentioned that he's he's uh, comes out of Ashmont Hill that I found out Ashmont Hill is a family group. Yes. You know, yeah. and um, and so I asked how it feels. So you can share with our audience how it feels to step out from the family and now right. do this thing solo. Sure. Well, you know, I was I was the songwriter for Ashmont Hill. So like okay. 90% of the songs I Got wrote it. and... And so in the last three years, just going through a really, really difficult season of my life, um, I, God, God gave me songs. He, 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 he's, he, he, he gives me songs a lot. And mm -hmm. in the last three years, he just gave me so many songs that didn't feel like Ashmon Hill songs. Mm -hmm. And they were songs that were coming out of this difficult, dark season that I went through. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I had to talk to my siblings and say, and, and I just felt in my gut that the Lord wanted me to release these songs as a solo artist. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I met with them, and, of course, they were so graceful and so supporting. And, you know, my siblings, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but we released this song. We actually put the video on YouTube a week before we put it on iTunes. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to throw it out just to try to create some type of buzz. And um, in, the, in a couple months, it had over a million views. Wow. I, I put a little snippet on on Instagram mm -hmm. and one morning I'm leading worship in Boston and I come down off stage, I grab my phone and I have like 2000 new followers wow. uh, and it was like, what, what, is what that? happened? And all these people had reposted that little snippet of the yeah. video yeah, yeah, yeah. and people just start connecting with this song. And yeah. you know, as a, as a songwriter, that's the songwriter's dream, you mm -hmm. know, for people to connect with it because you know, it, especially a song that comes, comes out of pain you know wow yeah. wow wow i think the best worship comes out of our pain i hate to say that wow. but thank y'all for letting us in for wow. songwriters who are transparent and open enough to share that experience because we get the residual of that right right you know what i mean wow. so i don't want to be nosy but what is it that you were going through that got you to this so, point so yeah do it was be nosy. you know <laughs> yeah absolutely and you know I, I was i was i was doing laundry run um one day, mm -hmm. just just in terms of writing the song, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit just dropped this idea in my mind that each person's worship is as unique as their fingerprint. Mm -hmm. You know that each person's worship is as unique as their DNA, because you know we're all some totals of all of these life experiences, but we each have something to offer to God that no one else can offer, and that's our worship, mm -hmm. our, our our unique worship, because no one has walked one day in your shoes, mm -hmm. so no one can worship God for you. And the idea was just so heavy to me, and and. And the lyric that says, for all the things you've done for me, and no one can worship you for me. Um, you know, I was married for 16 years mm -hmm. and g just went through a really, really difficult divorce wow. and custody battle for the children. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was excruciating. And it felt like a death. And, um, and but, it literally is. And, and it literally, yeah, it literally felt like that. Yeah. And, and having gone through it. I actually wrote this song after the court and all that stuff was over, and I was kind of looking back at all that I kind of had to go through, wow. all of just all of the craziness, and I was just thinking, man, for all the things you've done for me, no one can worship you for me. Ooh. So I'm looking back now at everything, and and I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still in my right mind. I haven't gone crazy, yeah. you know, and so it's just, it's just. A song where it's like, man, I'm just grateful that I'm still here and I have something to offer you, Lord, that no one else can offer, you know. And and, and, and everybody has a I testimony. Still have something to yes. Offer. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Wow. Phil. Okay. <laughs> Don't go off, Cheryl. You're on air. <laughs> this is so good. All right, guys. So listen, the new record is called My Worship. And so three million streams. Three million streams. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and it drops today. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's already charting really high. So we're we're super excited. I mean, as like a new artist, I'm just like this is so surreal. But it's you know? so God. Yeah, it's God. It's, it's so God, God because no man can can conjure up something like right, that. Right, absolutely. With that. So my yeah. worship, Phil Thompson, you guys go get the whole record. The whole mm -hmm. record's out right now. Go mm -hmm. get the whole record and stream it some more. Check out the video too so y'all can keep going because that worship goes on and on and on. Wow. Man, wow. Phil, thank you so much. For Thanks so much for by. having we me. We appreciate you so Absolutely. much. All right, Praise 104.1. That's uh, Phil Thompson. Make sure you pick up his record.